installment of Cougar Close-Ups. Our guests today are two cheerleaders from the St. Xavier cheerleading team, sophomore Catherine Armbruster and junior Victoria Martello. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time. Uh, of course. The first question I want to start off is with you, Catherine. Okay. What is the most exciting thing about cheerleading? I think um, for me personally, I know a lot of people don't know this, but we do do a competition season as well, and we spend probably six to eight months preparing our season and you know doing it over and over again, practicing multiple days a week, and then we go out there on the floor for a two and a half minute routine. And some people they don't like understand how exciting and invigorating it is to kind of you know you'd be preparing for this moment for eight months and you're only out there for two and a half minutes, but it's the best two and a half minutes of your life. So I think that's just something for me that I just I mean okay. I love more than anything. And then Victoria, do you have any memorable games that you cheer at? Definitely the national championship game. I feel like that whole game was just so exciting and we were all on the sidelines and really, you know, embracing every second of it. And after they won, we were all crying and it was just really exciting. I would, that was definitely one of my top five college moments for sure. Okay. And then Catherine, is there any time that you can think of um, an embarrassing moment while cheering? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure I have a lot more that I can come to mind. I just try to block out those painful memories. But I can frequent times in high school and even you know the past couple weeks, I will be like doing different um, stunts and throwing people in the air. And then you go to catch them, they come down really hard, and it's kind of like you know shocking. And I'll just fall down on the ground, like mm -hmm. not like just like flat out like wipe out, but like you know, I'll get all scraped up and you know start bleeding everything. And everybody's like, oh my god, you dropped her, haha, made fun of me. I'm like, no, I just like kind of just like fell over. Like it's kind of, it's kind of weird because everybody's like making fun of me. But I'm like, you know what? Like stop. Like I get so embarrassed, I get all red and whatever. It's okay though. <laughs> okay, and then Victoria, what is something that the typical person does not know about cheerleading? The typical person definitely doesn't know how much goes into cheerleading. It's not just, you know, one thing, it's a bunch of things. You have to have rhythm, you have to be able to dance, you have to be able to do gymnastics, you have to be able to stunt, you know, have like crowd appearance, like that presence of the crowd and really get people fired up. So it's not just like, you know, one thing, it's a lot of things and I think that's pretty cool. Do you guys get to choose your own songs? Or no? Sometimes we make like a mashup with our coach, mm -hmm. you know, if we have something that we're really feeling that gets us, you know, excited, then we'll throw <laughs> it in there, but you know, okay. it depends. Alright, and then Catherine, well, if cheerleading was not around, what would you be doing? Oh god, I don't know. Um, well, I know for, I only cheered my freshman and sophomore year in high school. I mean, before that I did it like since third grade, so my junior senior year, I kind of got a little experience of that. I kind of, you know, I started working, mm -hmm. like before the time, like just, I didn't have the time to, you know, get a real job. And I, so I think I spent a lot more time studying and maybe getting a job that, you know, so I can start saving up a little bit. But honestly, like, I forgot how much fun it was. So I'm so glad that I decided to come back and do it when I came to St. Xavier because, you know, it's just like one of those things that not a lot of people understand. I think it's a sport. And, like, you know, it gets frustrating sometimes. You're like, no, it's a sport, I swear. But at the same time, you're just like, whatever. They don't understand. Like, you understand that, you know, all the different stuff that goes into it. And, like, the people that do, like, you know, listen and, like, the other cheerleaders, they, like, get it and kind of, like, you know, appreciate how much work we put into it, even though other people don't appreciate it, you know, it's still enjoyable for us, so. Yeah. Okay, and then Victoria, do you have any pets? Yes, I have a puppy and his name's Louie, and he's <laughs> super, he's black, and he's really cute and fluffy, and yeah, he's really cool. I love him a lot. <laughs> Louie. Okay. Catherine, what is one thing that someone does not know about you? Um, okay, this is kind of weird, but I actually... Went to boarding school for a year after my junior year of high school. So I graduated high school early, kind of. I went there and it was all like, computerized, stuff like that. So I did a lot of like, um, like mentor, peer mentoring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of, you know, like I did that and I graduated early. So I'm actually like a semester, almost a full year ahead in my class. So I'm starting, I'm actually going to double major. I'm a nursing major, but I'm actually going to double with sociology. And maybe one day I want to go into social work and kind of work with like troubled teens and kind of. Go in more of that area after I'm, like, you know, after I'm done nursing for a while and see how it is. So. Okay. And then these are some questions for both of you guys. What are some of your goals in life? Well, um, a few of my important goals in life are finishing nursing school. Mm -hmm. And then I do want to go out into the field and, you know, be a labor and delivery nurse and kind of, you know, get my hands in there and make sure that, you know, be an ER and kind of experiment different things like in the hospital but then I definitely want to come back to St. Xavier and get my master's degree okay. and then teach nursing school here one day so just kind of like share my experiences with the nursing students and remember how hard it was and everything that I went through and share that with them in hopes that they'll be wonderful nurses okay um well I actually okay I'm a nursing student like I said um my goal is to obviously graduate from nursing school here 
and I really want to go and work in the ER. Like I, I thrive off that excitement, you know, going into work, knowing, not knowing what's going to happen. I don't like the whole day to day. Like everything you do is the same exact thing over and over again. Like I love the whole, you know, just that rush and like, you know, like knowing like, I mean, it sounds kind of, you know, awful, but you know, no, knowing that like somebody's life is in your hands and just knowing that you have that power and that you have such, you know, kind of like, you know, importance in their life, you know, and they've come up to you after and like say what a big impact you have on them. And so that's, I guess my main goal is, you know, like make an impact on somebody else's life and kind of, you know, go out there and not just like go out for myself and just try to, you know, make money. Like I'm not in it, you know, because nurses make good money, but I want to do it to, you know, help other people and, you know, make myself better. And yeah. What is your favorite restaurant? Oh my gosh, I love Italian food. Okay. I love it. I love Valare, which is located in like the downtown Little Italy area. And then the new restaurant, RPM, that Juliana and Bill just opened, is awesome. Okay. It's really good. Okay, well, I'm really a picky eater, actually. But, I mean, so I don't really have a particular restaurant I like, but I do like Chinese food a lot. So I do a Chi Tong a lot, because, I mean, I grew up around here. So, I mean, we always used to go there as a family. But also, last year, I didn't like sushi at all. I don't, I'm not a huge fish person. But last year, me and my friends went to Kyoto downtown. Oh, my God. It was probably like one of the best like sushi places I've ever been to. They have these avocado rolls, and I hate av avocado too. I'm a picky eater, and they were like literally instead of wrapped in like um, rice or like seaweed, it was all like avocado. And it was so good. So I'm sushi is definitely growing me. So any Chinese place I love. Okay, who is someone that's an inspiration for you guys? Um, for me, definitely my big inspiration in my life is my mom, and she's always been 100% on my side, supportive, 24-7 with everything I do. And then uh, my two cousins, Johnny and Shannon, who um, have definitely been my role models in my life and like my guidance, because I'm an only child. So they're definitely like the brother and sister I never had. And then my dad's always been like the backbone of the family, so I really admire that about him too. Okay. For me, I mean, I think my whole family, they've always been very supportive of me, and they kind of always inspired me to, you know, do what I felt like I wanted to do with my life and haven't totally tried to, you know, tell me, oh, I need to do this or that. But I think for me, who inspires me is my younger sister, actually, just because I know she, we have, we're six years apart, so it's kind of like a big age difference, mm -hmm. but she always, like, tells me how much she looks up to me and all that stuff, so I guess it really just inspires me in a way to do the best I can, like, and just kind of, like, be that person that I want her to look up to. So I kind of, like, she inspires me to be, like, her inspiration, and she kind of, like, you know, looks up to me in that way, so it makes me want to, you know, you know, move, get, get to work with my life and do good things. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. For the rest of the football season, are there any games in particular you guys are looking forward to? Oh, I oh. am so looking forward to Okay, so the Robert Morris game. Okay. It's in a couple weeks, actually. I'm really excited for that because last year, their whole football team came to one of our basketball teams when Robert Morris was playing our Cougars. And their mascot came on the sidelines with the cheerleaders and started shoving us and trying to, you know, dance with us. And I very much did not appreciate that. Like, this is my time. I am cheering. You are from other school. I don't know why your football team's here, but please, you know, respect my space. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited because normally don't, we don't go to away games unless it's playoffs, but we're going to actually go to this game and we're going to cheer. And I'm really excited to see the mascot and all those football boys again. And I really hope we kick their butts. Yeah, we're going to show them what Town is all about. Yes. <laughs> kept like yeah. yelling at us and saying that they're going to win, and I said, look at that banner, we just won the championship, please mm -hmm. stop talking now. And so. St. Francis again. Okay. I want to meet them again, and I want to beat them. St. Francis, Indiana, or oh, Illinois? Indiana, Indiana yes. for sure. Right. I'm going to get them. Cougars. <laughs> what are some of the toughest classes you guys have taken? Ooh, okay, oh. well, we are both nursing students, so obviously a lot of the sciences um, and those type of classes are pretty intense for us, but... I think, I'm not a huge English person, so when I had to take like, a literature class, I was not a fan. I mean, I like reading, but so I don't really like interpreting stuff and having, you know, put it all on the word. I like just having factual stuff, so like memorize and study like that. It's just how, what I like. Okay. I definitely agree. The chemistries were rough for me, but now that I'm in like my actual nursing courses, I love them, and I think they're a lot of fun, and it's interesting, but it's just getting there is kind of rough. Okay. Yeah. What is something you would love to do in your lifetime? Oh, God. Okay. So I think I really want to travel. Like I know, like I do want to um, start working right when I get out of school, and then go get my master's a couple of years after that. But I really want to, you know, I want to go like do other things. Like you know, like the study abroad programs. I kind of want to do that, and maybe you know, work um, like you know for like different foundations like that, like across in different countries, like Africa or um, like Australia, and just kind of you know, travel, but you know, not just you know like be blowing money, but actually making a difference and you know doing something for other people. I think a service trip would be super cool. I know 
Um, with the nursing program, they go to different countries and everything every often, every so often. And I know they go to Rome, but they haven't gone in a while. But getting the chance to like go to Rome, that's kind of like where my family's from, like that area. So I think it'd be really cool to go there and work in the hospital and have the whole experience of nursing in a different country. Okay. So. And then the last question I want to ask you guys is fill in the blank. I'm a blank and proud of it. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I'm a nerd and I'm proud of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a cougar and I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for your time. Oh, no problem. <laughs>